What's going on guys, it's Renjin, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. This is episode 14, and in today's episode we're going to be going over some classes that have multiple superclasses. Last episode we went over inheritance, and this is kind of just going to be another builder off of that, which I like to do. I like to give you the basis stuff, and then I like to build on it a little bit. This episode will be pretty short, uh, minus the 30 seconds that I'm talking to you, it'll probably be... Uh, maybe two, three minutes. Uh, but one thing. Oh, if you're watching this right as it comes out and you live in America, happy Labor Day. Oh, uh, Labor Day is Monday. I believe it's Saturday. No, it's Friday night. It's Friday night right now. It's kind of early, though. Well, Friday afternoon. It's not really night yet. But I should stop talking. Let's get into the coding. Enough about me and more about the Python. So, to make two super classes that we're going to be obviously giving to another class. We're going to have to have two classes to begin with. So let's go class. Let's jump ahead of the gun there. I was already trying to name my class before I wrote down class. Alright, class super one. And now your names of the classes don't have to be the same, nor do your variables. And I'm just going to have some examples for variables. So I'm going to have x equals 10. Let's make another class. Class super two. Oops. Super two Bam. And let's go y equals 15. Now, make sure that uh, these variables are different. Now, this might seem like common sense to a lot of people, but I know uh, some people out there might go, oh, well, I could just have the same one because, you know, they're they're inheriting, you know, two different classes, other things, you know, yada, yada. But make sure they are different because, say you inherited this, and then you inherited this, and this were 10, x were 10, and then x were 15 here. X would be 15 because you would just change it to to X is 15. So now let's go ahead and let's make our last class, our subclass, that's going to be inheriting from both of these. And let's just call it Subway because it is a subclass and why not call it Subway? Am I right or am I right? So let's go with some parentheses because we are going to be inheriting. And this is the part that's pretty much key out of this whole episode. Um, we're going to be inheriting, so we're going to have to write down the two classes we're inheriting from. So super1, comma, super2. Alright, everyone got that? It's not too complicated, but I just want to go over this, make sure everyone's, you know, getting their, getting their uh, understanding to the, the fullest. And now we can, we can put pass in there because we don't really want to put any variables, and he could put some variables. But uh, for now, we're just going to kind of reiterate that, hey, if you don't want a variable in a class, just use pass. I just made up that rhyme on the spot. I wasn't even trying to rhyme, and I made that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can hear you all clapping. All right. Now, to use these variables, we're going to make an object. Hopefully, we all remember how to do that. If you don't, let's go through it. Subway object equals subway bam bam again a quick review if you to make an object uh, the name the name followed by capital object equals subway well the class so subway and then parentheses so we have subway object equals subway parentheses all right now we made our variable or we made our object sorry and now to use it we're going to call upon it subway object and now we're going to select which variable out of this object we want to use. So for now, and actually, if you wait a second, Python actually gives you a nice little uh, selection window here. Do I want to choose X or do I choose Y? Let's go with X, and it gives me 10 right here. And let's go subway object. Actually, let's wait for that to pop up again. Hold on. It took a second. Y. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. I didn't know it did that before. I guess I... Uh, Never really waited long enough, but that's pretty much it. This was quick. It was four and a half minutes right now, is where we're at. But maybe I'll talk for a couple seconds. Um, actually, I don't really have much to talk about. But uh, I just wanted to reiterate uh, these these skills here, stuff with the the inheritance, and I just wanted to kind of go over everything again, make sure you guys knew how to do things with multiple classes, because you know it can get confusing. It can get confusing really easily too. And uh, I'm glad 
that I can clear everything up. And thank you for watching. I hope this helped. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you guys next episode. Thanks.